In this video on urology, I am going to discuss the result of NEAT SS exam for urology of 2019. I make these videos so that people who are still in general surgery or have completed general surgery but have not ever appeared for NEAT super specialty exams, they can get an idea of what the competition is like, how many people apply for the exams and what scores do they get. Because when I did uh, general surgery training, I had no idea of what it was like and so I was never mentally prepared for super specialty exams. But if you know what the uh, scene, what the situation is like out there, I'm sure you'll, you might feel like, you know, uh, you might feel like you want to start preparing for it or you can gain that confidence of, of like, oh, this is how, what people do, okay, I can do it, you know, that kind of feeling. And also for those who appeared day before yesterday on the 15th of September, uh, I'm sure you have a certain estimated score in your minds like, okay, I'm, I think I got this much correct. So maybe my score will be 250 out of 400. So maybe this video will help you estimate what rank you might be getting. Right, let's, so let's dive in uh, into the details. Firstly, I would like to state that 2,297 people appeared for urology in 2019 and like I tell you in every video to go to look at the number of seats available uh, you got to type in MCI courses in Google search click on the first result and it takes you to the MCI website where you can uh, search the course name MCH urology genito urinary surgery select all states all colleges and click on view results that shows that there are a total college of 96 offering 337 seats all over India for MCH. I'll make a separate video on DNB seats and all later. But from this, you need to deduct uh, the number of college, uh, seats offered by AIMS, BGI and JIPMER because these are not included in NEAT. Well, 11 seats annually from Ames Delhi, 22 seats in Ames Rishikesh, 3 seats in Jipmer, Pondicherry and 10 seats in PGI Chandigarh. So when we deduct these, the seats for MCH in NEAT will be 92 colleges offering 291 seats. There might be some additions or deductions which are not updated in the MCI website. So but you know this is the rough figure as given in mci website as of today now let's look into the ranks of the people who appeared in 2019 well the first merit position holder had a very high score of more than 80 percent that is 330 out of 400 this is despite of Negative marking, negative marking is like minus one and for a correct answer we get plus four score. So the top rank holder had a score of 82.5%. Then the ranks were 318, then 314 for third and fourth rank, 309 for fifth and sixth rank, then 305, 304, 303, 302. So you can see over here that last year all the top 10 top 10 rank holders had a score of more than 300 that is more than 75% score then rank 20 had a score of 295 rank 30 had a score of 291 rank 40 had a score of 288 rank 50 had a score of 286 rank 60 had a score of 282 rank 70 had a score of 280 then rank 80 90 100 had 279 277 275 well you see you know 275 is still a very high score. You know what 275 is like? 275 score is when you answer 75 questions correct and get 25 answers wrong in a situation where you have attempted every question. Because 75 questions correct will give you a score of 300 minus 25 that is 275. So if you are if you if you have performed like that, you can expect a score of somewhere around 100 if you have scored, if you think you have scored more than uh, 300, expect a very high rank of, you know, three, uh, 10, 20. Then the scores were 
For urology, it's important to look at all the scores till 1000 because uh, last year people got seats till more than 1000 rank. Though there was not, there would not be a you know preferred uh, college. There won't be MCH. I think it'll be a DNB. That also one of the least preferred uh, seats. But still, if you, it's important to know this. Rank 200 had a score of 261. Rank 300 had a score of 250. Rank 400 had a score of 239. Let's see, um, someone who had a score of 203 score. That is, he or she had a rank of 700. So in some branches, if you get 225 or 213 score, your rank may be 100, 200. But here in urology, someone who's getting 203 score, that is 50.75% score, his or her rank is 700. So it's a very tough competition. I mean, you cannot just, you know, come unprepared for urology and, you know, take a chance and uh, see whether you get a seat or not. It's going to be very unlikely. Rank, a score of 193 had a score a rank of 800. The person with rank 900 had a score of 185. 1000 rank had a score of 176. Then 1000, 100, 200, 300 like that, like listed in this uh, on this side. They had a scores of 168, 161, 155, 149. 1500 rank had a score of 143. 1,800 rank had a score of 123. 2,000 rank also had a score of 105. I think even if your people are not prepared well, I think it's very easy to score um, more than 100. Because uh, let's say someone who is not a medical person, who, is not, who has no idea appears for this exam, chances are the probability is that we'll get 25 questions correct. So, if you get 25 questions correct, it's a score of 100 minus 75 negative answers. So, your score will be 100 minus 75, 25. So, let's see if any, anyone got like that. 2100 rank had a score of 93, 2200 had a score of 72. Last rank holder had a score of minus 3 and uh, the second last person had a score of 2. Uh, that is... 0.50%. So even if you did get only 20 30 questions correct, don't worry, you might not be the last rank holder. Well, this is practically useless, but I'm just uh, mentioning all these for completion's sake. So, urology, it is also one of the most sort of the branches. You can see the competition is quite tough. It's not easy to get or, you know, a rank within 100 and uh, it is so because urology is one of the so most sort of the branches apart from gastro and oncosurgery because there are good job positions in corporate hospitals. Once you complete MCH, you become a consultant. You won't be a junior, junior doctor in the hospital. You can work as a consultant. You can set up your own hospital easily because most surgeries are uh, not open surgeries. Most are endourology, like all the stone removals, prostate surgery, bladder surgeries, mostly are done through the urethra, that is endourology, and. Uh, you can do your own ultrasound, you can do URS, you can do stenting, stent removals. This can all earn you a good amount of money with your own small setup. You don't need to have a big hospital to work for urology. And the moment you pass out a super specialty course like MCH or DNB, I think you'll be able to do most of the you know, cases that you get in your OPD. Like in my opinion, if you are a CTVS surgeon, Let's say you did CTVS, you're sitting in your OPD. Is this my opinion? I might be wrong. Maybe you can treat only two out of those 10 patients. If you're a plastic surgeon, I think you can treat five or six patients out of 10, pa 10 uh, 
cases that, uh, people that patients that you come in your OPD because uh, some may be very complex cases that you can't handle just after passing out uh, from MCH or DNB but for urology I am sure that eight out of eight or nine out of ten cases you'll be able to handle because most cases are simple I'm, I'm sure they are there'll be complex cases but most urology patients are simple cases simple for a person who has completed super specialty course I know this because my dad is a my father is a, uh, is a urologist he did from Ames and uh, so all my life I've seen the kind of cases who come for uh, the patients who present to him for consultation everything most can be handled at a small hospital or at a private clinic that is why urology is very sought after thanks for watching these videos do subscribe to the channel and hit on the bell icon so that you can get notified every time i post a video because very soon i'm going to start posting videos on the seat allocation of 2019 like a person the person who got first rank what college did he choose or if you're aiming for a particular college in Delhi, like at what rank was the what was the last rank to last rank where the seat of Delhi was taken, or if you're aiming for a particular college in Mumbai, what was the last rank? If you get a if you get 200, 300 rank, uh, do you get MCH or do you get DNB? All these information I'll be you know sharing on that video. So do stick around and watch out for the next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.